Hello, and welcome to another installment of Inside Surveillance. This is Eric Murphy, about to do a walkthrough of the beta version of La Fiere. Before I get too far and you're not paying attention to me anymore, I have a couple of notes for you. First off, I was having some technical issues when making this video and couldn't fully resolve them in time. So if you see any glitches in the video, sound gaps, lags, it's not the game, it's my setup, I apologize already. Secondly, I was hoping to get a walkthrough of the map in with the person who brought about the latest version of this map, Semmel, but because of our different schedules and the huge gap in time zones, I didn't quite get a chance to meet with him. However, if you follow the link in the comments, there's a Q&A and text with Semmel. Lastly, I tried to postpone the voiceover for as long as I could because you may be able to hear I've been sick, but it looks like I ran out of time. So, bear with me, I will try to sound as enjoyable as I can. Now, without further ado, Lafayette. If you saw the Carrington Causeway video, you'll know I took a particular interest in the sky and the sun and those sort of atmospheric effects that really make RNL maps. In this map as well, Semmel did a great job of creating the sky. If you look up, there's the clouds that actually seem to be moving in the sky. One thing I can't stress enough, along with the whole cloud aspect there, is the environmental and atmospheric aspects to the game. It's something this mod has that other mods and even other games just don't seem to include nowadays. I've been pl I was playing a game recently, and I walked into a room, and the whole room was the size of a bathtub. And there was a bathtub in the room, so you walk in and it's just a bathtub. And I don't think the developers of that game understand real life, maybe. But I'm going to take stops here and there just to let you give you guys a look at the, the work Semmel did along with the work the other developers do on the RNL maps. Is that everything has a spot. Everything is realistic. And everything just makes you seem like you're really in that place.
And right up here, we will close this tour. There's certain aspects of this map I'm sure you RNL fans remember. Certain aspects that you guys probably have never seen before. In fact, I have not shown you the whole map. That is right, I am not allowed to, just like some of the other maps. So, bear in mind, there will be some surprises that you guys have no idea what's coming. And I'm sure you'll like it. And I hope you guys look forward to it as much as I am. So, again, hope you enjoyed Lafayette.